Hello there and welcome to the 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question 11. So, in the first part, prove that x minus 4 is a factor of f of x. So, what we're looking to do here is plug in the value of 4 into the function and use the factor theorem. So, it's going to be 2 times 4 cubed minus 13 times 4 squared plus 8 times 4 plus 48. Let's now work out what each of these are individually because they should add together to make a zero. So the first one is going to be 128. The second one is going to be 13 times um, 8. So 13 times 4 squared, that would be 208. Plus 32 plus 48. And if we add these together, yeah, we make zero. So then we'll write our little conclusion as f of 4 equals 0 by the factor theorem. By the factor theorem, x minus 4 is a factor of f of x. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer to part A. Moving on to part B. Now, hence using algebra, show that the equation f of x equals 0 has only two distinct solutions. So what distinct means is different solutions. So it may have one that's repeated. So what I'll do then is I'll write 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 8x plus 48. And now I'm going to try and factorise it with x minus 4. So let's try and work out what's going to go in the other bracket then. So the first the expansion will have to be 2 times x squared times by the uh, x will give us 2x cubed. But when I also put the 2x squared here, I'm going to get a minus 8x squared when I expand all my brackets. But I don't want minus 8x squared in total, I want minus 13x squared in total. So what do I need to do extra? I need to minus a 5x squared. So I therefore need to put a minus 5x here for it to then expand with the x at the back. Let's now expand the minus 5x with the 4 as well. That will give us uh, plus 20x. We don't want plus 20x in total. We want uh, plus 8. Sorry, um, we want, so we don't want plus 18. We want plus 8 because I wrote down the question wrong. So it's just plus 8x. So I want to now take away 12x. Uh, to make it 8x in total, so therefore we need to put a minus 12 inside the bracket here, which will multiply by the minus 4 to make 48. So there we are, that's the answer for that question. So no, I haven't finished, I've just factorised it, haven't I? So now let's factorise even further to get the distinct solutions. So it's going to be 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. Now let's uh, factorise even further, so it's going to be x minus 4, and then it's going to be 2x and a bracket, bracket, x and another bracket. Let's think about what numbers need to go inside the bracket, so it's going to be minus 4 and a plus 3. So you can see here I've now got two distinct solutions, x equals 4 and x equals minus 3 over 2. So the, the 4 is a repeated root and minus 3 over 2 is the other root. So two distinct roots, two different roots to this equation here. Let's now move on to part C. So figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve at y equals f of x. Deduce giving a reason for your answer the number of real roots of the equation of 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 8x plus 46 equals 0. Now it's different to the 48 that we have in our equation. So let's just take um, the equation they want us to solve. They want us to solve this equation, but we've only got this graph here, which is of the f of x function. So what I'd probably like to do is turn the left-hand side into the function that I've actually got a graph of. So that would be by putting 48 on the um, left-hand side. So I've added 2 to both sides effectively, so equals 2. So what I'm now going to do is draw a line for y equals 2, because I've got the y equals the left-hand side on this graph here already, so now I just need to draw the y equals 2 line. So when I draw the line for y equals 2, I can clearly see there I'm going to get three solutions. 
therefore three distinct solutions. So there we are, that's the answer to part C. And moving on to part D, given that k is a constant and the curve of the equation y equals f of x plus k passes through the origin, find the two possible values of k. So what I need to do then is I need to move my graph up or down by a certain amount. At the moment it's minus 3 over 2 and 4. And remember when it's f of x plus k inside the brackets, then it's the opposite. So if actually if I want to move it down by 4, then I'm going to need to do f of x plus 4, because then that will move it down the graph in the um, horizontal direction by a value of 4. So therefore k is equal to 4, or f of x minus 3 over 2 will move the graph up by 3 over 2, so therefore k equals minus 3 over 2. Remember that inside the brackets is opposite land, so if you're looking to move it that way, it needs to be a plus inside the bracket, because actually you'd think this would be going down the graph, um, well it is going down the graph, but therefore when you're working out inside the brackets, um, it needs to be um, plus 4. So there we are, those are the two values of k there. So that's question 11, that's 10 marks for this question here. Let's now move on to question 12.